Hey, we got an update. We got a running truck. Uh, everything's good. Took it for a ride. Went on the highway even. It runs pretty good. There's no giant vibration when you decelerate. Just seems to be a little smoother. And the brakes seem to be a little better. And I don't know why. Maybe because me and wifey bled them a little better. Or maybe since that back wheel wasn't gyrating gyroscopically and maybe the shoes are doing shoe thing instead of fighting a bad bearing housing anyway yeah it's all good yeah no leaks it's in there a little teflon tape on that plug yeah it's all good yep uh the ride isn't spectacular with that new leaf added but it's better and uh pumped up the air shocks anyway so my buddy at the junkyard gave me a screaming deal on these mega meats here these uh 235 15s maxis bighorn anyway he gave me a pretty good deal on those but the thing was there's a pair uh they're in decent shape they're probably five years old i checked the date code yeah you know whatever we're, we're on a budget here I got new ones on the front, so newer. Uh, anyway, the deal was we got to return these rims. That was the deal. Or I got to pay them 100 bucks for the rims. And I don't think that was a very good deal. They do fit the truck. They're newer Ford with the slots. Uh, my old hubcaps do fit them, but I'm not coughing up 100 bucks for two rims that I don't have two other rims. So we're in a dilemma here. Those go back. Uh, this is a tried and true spare. I don't have a problem with this, but that tire is about 10 years old and it's cracking on the other side. And it looks, you know, I don't really like the look of that there. I have an extra fifth hubcap that goes on, but it won't go on that rim. So what we're going to do, it's tire time. All this for a spare tire. Well, yeah, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. This spare... This was on the truck. It's look, it says spare. You know, that's how you know it's a, that's how you know it's a spare. Anyway, it's got fair tread. There's cracking. Uh, it's ten years old, and it holds air. Hence the word spare. Okay, but it does hold air, and it's not too bad out around. And it did take a pretty good balance last time. It's a spare, but so I got this rim buddy gave me and uh it's got a tire from 2009 on it <laughs> we're not going to use that even though it looks great <laughs> that's not happening <laughs> but this rim is rusty with bugs and uh this fifth hubcap does fit so what we're going to do today is we're going to bust it down on the world's finest tire machine here. And uh, we're going to check the bead. Make sure it's not all rusty. If, if the bead's not all rusty, if the bead looks okay, then I'll use this rim after I give it a quick spritz of some satin black or maybe that red, crappy red color I got. Uh, and then we'll have a spare that'll bolt in there and a hubcap will fit it and it'll look okay and there'll be a tire on it that's 12 years old but you know it's a spare i'm not going to run this this is an unknown tire uh even though it's from 2009 i mean it's it's getting up there that's a carcass we can't we can't chance that but that's spare. that's tried and true i've had that on the highway yeah it's an old tire but it's a spare so wish me luck and hopefully this bead will be good so let's get it off here We already took the valve core out. And this is the world's cheapest tire machine, by the way. It's been modified several times because it keeps bending. So now you know <laughs> why it's been modified and welded on because it's a piece of junk. <laughs> yeah. 
taking six ply tires off the other day I bent this up pretty good uh, those other tires on the truck are six ply for trucks I don't know what these are all right so let's see how it cooperates today got the world's biggest bar favorite copper hammer let's see what happens let's check this bead out we don't know if it's good if it's rusty I have a bad feeling already uh, come on now be nice I'm not going to the tire shop oh something's bending <laughs> I felt something bend <laughs> Come on now, I'm not going to the tire shop. Oh, something's bending. It's the whole bar. Dang it. Yeah, we're bending the whole bar. That's okay. We'll keep bending it. Look at this bar bending. Oh my god. This don't make quality stuff anymore. break the welder out ah. okay folks we have failure dude what a lame video why do you guys watch this stuff? <laughs> so you can learn. Okay, so uh, now we're gonna do some fabricating. <laughs> I guess we're gonna make a new, better piece here. Or I could just run this tire over with the truck. Something tells me it's pretty rusty under there. This might be a lost cause, but you know what? We're gonna follow through. Here at Faulkner Fixes All, we adapt and overcome, even if it's a lame video. So what does this tell you? Buy better quality tire machines. Okay, so uh, we're gonna make a new bar. Stay tuned for episode 48. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kind of, wow, kind of sucks. Anyway, yeah, okay. See you next time. Uh, it's a win. <laughs>